Alrighty, y'all. So, the much anticipated, the long awaited video of the Kawasaki Brad 02 Delete for the KLX 230 Supermoto. So, uh, sorry, I'm touching my camera. Alright. Oh, alright. So, this part should have been at my house, like, by, like, April 4th. It is now the 11th, because for some reason, the United States Postal Service really dropped the ball. For some reason, it kept on going from my address to New York, to my address, to New York, like four different times. Like It, it was unbelievable. I, I called them multiple times, the United States Postal Service, to try to figure out what was going on. I was like, I was like, why? Why is this going on like this? It doesn't make sense. Well, we finally got it. And so right now, I am doing a, you know, going off of like what one of my viewers recommended. Uh, I'm doing a test drive first. Getting this bike up the temperature, the whole nine, just kind of riding it around, kind of making sure I got the feel for the bike, you know, making sure I feel how it acts and different RPMs and all that other stuff all warmed up. And then I am going to swap the part on the side of the road. Yes, I have tools with me and I am going to swap it on the side of the road. And I'm going to show you. Just so we got like you can't get much better than like, oh, well, the bike was sitting for this long, or, oh, it might be the next day. Like, nah, I am literally stopping on the side of the road just for you all, and I'm installing this piece, and I'm going to ride again to see what happens, to see if there is a noticeable difference, or if I just wasted some money. I guess we'll find out. got some gas all that so I'm I'm ready just trying to get you know get a heat cycle through the motor trying to make sure everything's all nice and ready to rock and roll and I can't see because of the sun in my eyes package it, 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 it was crazy trying to get a hold of this thing um because i was doing these calls and all that while i was in new mexico and tulsa oklahoma trying to you know help my brother out move which i actually am putting together a video right now like it, it's not much so don't expect like like the world but i am putting together a video as we speak metaphorically of uh you know of me getting this thing ready and uh yeah and then we're gonna go from there uh, uh my, my bad so gonna get the video posted up you know of this first and then i'll get the get the uh Yeah, so you're gonna have like a small little road trip video and and this video to look forward to. So huzzah! I I hope this appeals to masses. Oh. 
motor's been running for a few minutes, so I think I'm gonna get up here to a nice little stop area. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get the swap done for you. So let's just, hopefully it goes well. I'm kind of excited, I'm nervous, because, you know, doing a swap, you know, doing like a part swap on the side of the road, it's, I don't know, it, it's different, it's, I hope I brought the right tools, I brought like a 8mm, and I brought like a little pick, you know, to, to get the, uh, the little uh, clasp, and then, and then in theory, it should just go right together, I smack everything back together, and then we should be good to go. We will find out. I am hoping. I am having much hope. So, on the package, which I'll show you uh, momentarily, you know, most people, I guess, put this on when they have, like, an issue with, like, having a check engine light because they removed the O2 sensor completely. I hope I don't lose my pops on the exhaust too much. Like, I know it's a possibility, but... Uh, we'll see. Oh, look at that, a white Repsol. That's kind of cool. Alright, we're going to get posted up here next to the trash can, and we're going to do this little swap and see what happens. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I am nervous, but here we go. Hopefully, I won't have to do too much editing of this video, and it'll just be one, one solid go. <laughs> uh, so here's the package O2 eliminator as you can see and then it can make up the three separate minimum uh, 10 minute minimum rides to clear trouble code check engine light stop and go traffic does not work all right well we don't have a check engine light so that's in theory not the problem so uh Let's break this piece off real quick and see what happens. Um, yes, the exhaust is hot. Uh, you know, that is technically a downside to what I'm doing. Doing it on a hot exhaust is probably not the most recommended thing to do. Uh, people are probably going to wonder what I'm up to. They're going to be like... Why is this guy doing work on his bike in a parking spot? Because I'm crazy. That is why. But I am doing this for the viewers. Alright. So, as you can see, there's the, the piece for the O2 delete. Let's push that down, or the O2 sensor. All right, look at that, I have it disconnected. All right, so. O2 eliminator now. <sighs> it is very hot. I am sweating. Hopefully this gets put in super smooth. Alright, look at that. Alright, so as you can see there's only one way it can go in because it's got that 
little uh, piece right there, Kawasaki Brad. Got some resistors. Looks kind of looks pretty fancy. So let's see if I can. I move that wire out of the way. I'm hoping this comes through clear for you all. I really hope so. Alright, look at that. It is clipped in. It is fully clipped in there. Alright. We're just going to leave this kind of up in there. That's there. Alright, that piece is back in. This larger screw goes here. And the smaller one goes back here. <laughs> All right, it is put together. So, alright, it is all good to go now, we will see what will happen, alright, I am nervous, to be honest with you all, alright, All right, it started. I'm impressed. Thank you. My husband said he would divorce me if I got the bike I wanted. Oh, that's terrible. So I stayed married. <laughs> that's so enjoy. All right, I definitely will. <laughs> Let's get after it and see what happens, my guys. <sighs> Gonna do some back roads right quick to try to see if there is a difference. probably take I don't know if it'll take like a minute or two or uh, I don't know how quick this will make a difference or not make a difference I'm not sure as of yet so we will find out as we're riding but um, so far I I don't know Well, I heard it pop, so...
really don't know. It's so hard. Like, I want to say that I think I feel like it's a little extra peppy. You know, because it does say it adds 3% fueling. You know, to help kind of keep it cooler and to kind of like make it run just a hair better. Like... really is hard like I guess as long as for some reason it doesn't throw a check engine light on me or something we will see but uh it's hard like the only true way for me to truly check to see if this does something would be like putting it on a dyno getting like one of those laser thermometers so I can like check to see if there's like a temperature difference or something of the cylinders but that's like it feels like it wants to be a little snappier out here on the road today. I can't give a definitive on this. I I don't know yet. Um, like yes, there I could be the thing of like, oh, I have to ride. Like the few minutes. What is it? The three ten minute rides. So maybe what I'll do is I'll shut it off for a split second and then turn it back on and then keep on going, seeing if I see a difference. That's literally all I could do that would be different. So yeah, it's, this is trial and error for you guys. I'm just trying to, trying to make sure that if this is something that it's... Trying to see if this is actually something that would be of benefit to you all. So, I guess let me go up here, shut it off for like 10 seconds for it to 
reset or something and then do it again. Let's Let's see what happens. Uh. <sighs> All right, let's see. The hot start still is a little, still a little eh. It's not the best in the world, but it still starts, so. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Did I just waste 38 or so dollars? I... I don't know yet. But like I said, it'd be different if I had a dyno and like a thermometer to actually see like what the like... Like if there is like a difference because that's kind of the whole point of this is to make it run less lean so not as hot. So... Unfortunately, I don't have this type of stuff to give you all that scientific information, but I'm just kind of giving you a, like, a seat of my pants type of thing, and I don't know, like, I feel like I'm doing a disservice to you all because I don't have this type of stuff, like, and even still, at that point, it's hard because it's like, well, you know, depending on how I rode it, since it's air-cooled, like, it may be, it may have run cooler before because I might have been running it not as hard as I am now to where it obviously could be running hotter now because I'm running it harder. There's just so many variables that like, it, I don't know, it's definitely not an easy one. But I hope at least me doing this and kind of giving you my on the road thoughts about it should help. Like it, it feels fine. Like so, obviously, it's not at, as far as I know causing catastrophic issues. Hmm. And I still have my pops, so that's at least something so far. pretty good. Still popping pretty good. It's like, hey, what's popping? <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, besides that, the trip to Tulsa, pretty cool, pretty cool. As you'll see in like the video, I'm uh, definitely I'm considering it. I'm considering maybe trying to move out there. It's it's pretty nice, honestly. It is pretty nice.
Like I said before in a couple like comments and and stuff like you don't like with the Norifume I haven't seen where like I've been like you know with the Norifume T-Rex exhaust where I'm like ah you know it causes a flat spot like it honestly it's been pretty good exhaust for this bike like I've you know the fact that I did this O2 delete was just just to try it. It was cheap enough that it was something that I was like, oh, it's not going to break the bike me trying it, but... In theory, I didn't... In my opinion, I didn't need it. I'm just giving this a good hoon for you all, you know, I just want you all to see, like, this might be a slightly longer video, but you know what? Screw it, let's do it, let's give you, a, let's give the people what they want, let's give them blood, let's give them gore. Oh, hopefully not on this channel, because that normally would probably mean that I have tragically screwed up, which would be... Terrible. I'm trying to get myself some distance between this car. If I can, because this road kind of is fun, but... I think there is a difference. I. It's not much, but it's something. Like I felt like as I was pulling through there, like it, it still had just a. It may had a, just a little, a little more oomph to it. Those that are wondering, I wouldn't say it's a bad purchase, uh, this piece, I, you know, like, I'll do an extended review as I put more miles on the bike, Ooh. Okay. I'll do an extended review as I put more miles on the bike, so we'll, we'll definitely see, I, I hope that this piece lives up to its, you know, um, to its hype, like, it'd be sad if for some reason it didn't, but, like, I'm not an electrician, but, you know, like, the capacitors and stuff that are in there, resistors, capacitors, one of the things, they looked pretty decent quality, you know, I gotta say, this bike is, you know, is getting it. If 
feels good. I, I can't complain. I, I really just hope it's not all in my mind. Poor little girl. She was covering her ears as I went past. I know. That's why I wear earplugs. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Disturbing the peace. That's all I do. Disturb the peace. Jesus. Well, that would have been about it. Mm. <laughs> The life of bike life never ceases to amaze, does it? Never ceases to amaze. You know, it makes you wonder. It's like these double yellow lines on the road, they, they have to mean something, don't they? Like, you would think, right? Or are they just painted there just to make the road look cool? I don't, I don't know. Is there a purpose? Tell me in the comments. Is there a purpose to this? To that yellow line right there. Because I, for one, would love to know something. Alrighty, well, on that note, I think I am going to end it off. I would say it to some type of degree this was successful um i got no check engine light the bike kind of feels peppier um it might be all anecdotal you know inside of my brain inside of my cranium but there you are i will keep you keep you all informed more as we go along if anything changes but uh as for that, I am out. I hope y'all like and subscribe. Um, please, it would definitely help out the channel. Thank you.